G'day everyone, Adam here from Benito. Just going to give you a quick look at the latest 620 to leave the factory. This one's going down to Melbourne. Uh, it's fitted on a 2.2 ton Aussie alloy trailer. So you can get away with a 2.2 ton trailer on these. You don't have to go up to a 3 ton. Uh, depending on what your boat setup is and what your load requirements are, if you're doing long distance trips, you can go up to a 3 ton trailer. Extra beefy. Uh, if you don't know, 6.2 meters from where the engine mounts to the very bow. 2.4 meter beam, 22 and a half degree dead rice. So perfect numbers, uh, nice big flare in the bow, nice dry ride. 620 is a great step up from the 560 without going all the way to a 660. Uh, recommended 200 or 225 horsepower. Uh, XT hulls are 300 horsepower rated. Fuel tanks are 190 standard and we can go up to 380 liters. So two options there, big tank or for the ultra long range or small tank on with a Suzuki 200 uh, you can cruise at 34 knots and get 1.7 kilometers per liter so almost uh, nautical mile per liter uh, the Yamaha's not much further behind um, and at 25 knots with the Yamaha 200 you can get around the two kilometers a liter mark so uh, nice cruise speed and good efficiency coming down the back on this one we've got transom steps fitted great for getting in and out of the boat can fit a ladder on these uh, Motor well for twins or single. Coming up the side, we've got the fuel filler in the back here with your flame proof breathers in the back there. Towing eyes as well, tie downs in the back. Nice large 40 mil drain hole down there in the center. Coming up inside, we've got recessed cleats all the way around, standard on every boat. Jump up inside. Oh, I'll just uh, show you one other thing quickly here. You got the Alec for your live bait tank and the new Benito model stickers. Coming up on inside, we've got a large console which you can fit twin 12s or a single 16. Short storage inside. You got two shelves, which is great. Down the back, got your rear kill tank and your live bait tank with the window. Down inside here, got the battery tray set up. Same on both sides, great storage in here. You can fit four batteries or use this side here as your storage space and if your battery put it down in the corner. Great access to your bilge. Big kill tank down in here, all drained as well. So it's flush with the floor with drain. Side pockets, everything's fully fiberglass together. Consoles, side pockets, decks to hulls, everything you can think of, we fiberglass it. Coming up forward, we've got the forward kill tank. Again, all flush with the floor, gutted. It's absolutely massive. Great kill tank area or storage. Coming up with a bell, electric motor mount fitted here. And we've got the anchor well, which is all reinforced here. You can see the pad. Or a drum winch. Access into your console here. Get access, great access to all your electronics. All there. Quick look around. Last and open, plenty of space for your seat in here. Looks awesome. Let's give you one quick look up the front from the outside again. See the flare there in the bow, it's great. Okay, so this one's going down to Melbourne. If you're interested in a six, if you're interested in a Benito, we do five meters, 560, 6.2s, 660s, 620 Express update coming soon. It's all joined, wave breakers all finished off, so won't be long now. We'll uh, be showing you that. It's gonna be wicked, I can't wait to show you. As you've probably seen in one of the last photos, if you haven't, make sure to check it out on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, you can see the blue, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, that hull will be available, so if you are interested, make sure to let us know. Uh, 760 coming later this year, so keep your eyes posted for an update on that. It won't be long. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out on the water. Make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps with the videos. Cheers.